was Lamar Jackson taking a, a shot at the Ravens? Or, or was he just trolling? Or, or was it just a misunderstanding? I, I don't know. That's why I came on here to ask you all, because you all would know better than me. Uh, about 30 minutes before the Ravens' Liars luncheon, their pre-draft presser, uh, Lamar Jackson had retweeted something that caught a lot of people's attention and had a lot of people looking like, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa hold up there, buddy. Uh, and let's just read the retweet or what he retweeted. It's from ODF Ball. Um, he says, breaking. QB Lamar Jackson has announced. And I know when a lot of us first saw that part, we were like, whoa, 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 what's, what's going on? What's happening? But it said, breaking. QB Lamar Jackson has announced he's made up his mind and he's heading back to offense, defense, to play another OD All-American Bowl Week. And this quote that they said, uh, it said, I had made way more weapons at OD than with that last team, and I'm proud to be hashtag OD for life, like all my superstar brothers. Lamar Jackson told reporters today, welcome home, bro, hashtag OD for life. And we saw that. And they tweeted this out a couple of days ago. So I guess Lamar is going through his old notifications or something. It's like, oh, okay, I like that retweet. But when a lot of people saw that, because you can look at the quote tweets and the replies and stuff, a lot of people were like, whoa, is that, is that a shot at the Ravens? Is Lamar Jackson taking a shot at the Baltimore Ravens? Because it can look like that, especially with the wording uh, that's in the tweet. Because of the part that says, I had way more weapons at OD than with that last team. And again, with the context of this, there could be so much that we don't know. And well, there is so much that we don't know. We don't know the backstory to this whole thing. So it's really up in the air. But I know it had a lot of people like looking like, oh my goodness, are, are, are things in a bad place with the Baltimore Ravens? Because we've seen it before with different players. They'll say different things and they will tweet and retweet different stuff that they agree with that sort of confirms how they feel about a current situation at hand. Um, that's why it, it did raise a lot of eyebrows when people saw Lamar Jackson retweet that. But at the same time, I wonder if he, that wasn't his intention at all. Uh, if that was not his intention to diss the Baltimore Ravens, if that's not what he was trying to do. Because like we said earlier, he unretweeted it. He took it off of his retweets. And I wonder if he did that because there were a lot of people getting up in arms about it. Uh, and he did not want it to come off that he was dissing the Baltimore Ravens uh, because that may not have been his intention. So, and we know, like, with, <laughs> with Lamar, um, I mean, but before, I was, about, I was about to say, before Lamar Jackson, he, he's not a man of many words, man. You ain't going to hear him speak on stuff too often. But now this Lamar Jackson now, oh, no, he's going to talk about it. He's going to talk about it. Whatever it is, if he got something to say, he will let it be known. He let it be known. Because Lamar Jackson, like, I, I've talked to a lot of people, and obviously um, I'm sure you all have had plenty of conversation with people too, since Lamar Jackson has been a lot more active and a lot more vocal and whatnot recently, been really speaking up uh, on different topics that pertain to him. Um, there's a lot of people that's like, hey, Lamar, go for it. There's a lot of people that's like, oh, no, Lamar, he don't need to be doing that. It's immature. He needs to stop speaking, da 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 But it's like with him, it's a lose-lose. It, it, it is a lose-lose for him because, say, for instance, people, they run around talking about this, that, and the third with Lamar Jackson, and he don't say nothing. Then a lot of narratives can get pushed. A lot of stuff that's not true, it can get pushed. And then if he don't say nothing about it, a lot of people will, will run with that stuff and be like, oh, it's true. It's true. Oh, yeah, okay. I, ah, that's what it is with Lamar. Ha, okay. But then on the flip side, there could be a lot of people that say this, that, and a third about Lamar. But then when he speaks up about it and he speaks on it and he tries to clear stuff up for people, people are like, oh, he shouldn't be speaking. Oh, he's making himself look bad. Why is he tweeting that? Why is he speaking on that? He should have just left it alone. Now, me, I, I do not feel like you should address everything that people say about you. Because there's some people that just say stuff just so they can try to get a rise out of you. And especially with Lamar Jackson being exactly who he is, I'm sure he sees that stuff literally every single day. Every single day. I'm sure he sees people tweeting him, people sending him DMs, people doing all type of stuff to try to get a response from Lamar Jackson. Positive? 
but a lot of negative as well. So you can't respond to everything and everybody. And even if you wanted to respond to everything and everybody, it would just be impossible. You got millions of followers across different platforms and whatnot. It would be very hard to respond to literally every single body because I'm sure he has people around the world who are messaging him with different things. Um, but it's, it's a tough situation to be in. It's a tough position to be in. But Lamar Jackson recently has certainly been speaking a lot more. And me, personally, I, I, I like it. I'm with it because I'm sure for, for years he was tired of so many people, especially with the media and stuff, them creating a narrative about Lamar Jackson. Them spilling, telling narratives and whatnot, stories, and sometimes even lies about Lamar Jackson. I'm sure he was tired of it. And now he's like, you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to write my own narrative. I'm going to be the one to say exactly what it is. It's not going to come from him. It's not going to come from her. It's not going to come from you. It's not going to come from them. It's going to come directly from me. And when stuff comes directly from the horse's mouth, like that saying goes, that's what it is. You ain't got to worry about, no, he say, she say, this. That. No, no, no. You ain't got to worry about none of that stuff because it's coming from directly who it's pertaining to. So shout out to Lamar for continuing to speak up more and more. Because, again, like I said, I'm with it. I like it. I, I like it because he can nip stuff in the bud like that. Oh, it's a rumor floating around. Oh, nope, that's false. Lamar, he said, no, that's not true. Oh, they saying this about him? Oh, nope, uh-uh, that was wrong. Oh, about the injury, da, 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 da. oh, why you ain't fly with the team? No, this is why. And there you have it. So I, I appreciate him speaking up. But back to the original question. Was this a shot at the Baltimore Ravens? Ah, mm, I don't know. I don't know. Because initially, I want to say I want to say no, but then that's, it's when you look at the wording and say, ah, I don't know. That's, that's been a conversation that we've had a lot about the weapons. But again, it, like everything else, when it comes to this whole Lamar Jackson thing, we just really don't know. We don't know, and it's so much stuff that we won't know until we know. Team, keep it clean. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all, and we out. Yeah, this feels like a dream.